The celebration of style and culture across Philadelphia and beyond. Philadelphia Style Magazine pays tribute to the people, places, and businesses that shape our city in a special edition. Joining me now to tell us more, Kristen Detterline. She is the editor-in-chief of Philadelphia Style Magazine. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So this is such a great edition because literally you can see everything that Philadelphia has to offer in one book. Yes, and it timed with our 20th anniversary, so we've been running Best of Style for several years, and it's always just such a fun moment to go through and just pick all of our favorites. So let's start with the home category, best in home. What is best in home? Home is really a cross section, um, everything from great florist uh, to places to find great tabletop pieces and of course furnishings. So my pick uh, for that is Roche Bobois, located in Old uh -huh. City, gorgeous showroom. Um, they've been a longtime winner on our list and I really love them because they keep the collections fresh. They've done a wonderful job of collaborating with fashion designers like Missoni and um, Kenzo and uh, Marcel Wanders to really add interest to the furnishings that they have coming into the store and you can get them here in Philadelphia. Very contemporary. Very, extremely, yes. Very European and minded styles. All right, let's talk about the next category, shopping. shopping. How do you pick this? <laughs> well, um, I went and, and chose, I think, talking about shopping in the area, how can you um, pass on talking about King of Prussia Mall, mm -hmm. second largest mall in the country, just had that $50 million um, renovation where they added the whole wing, so there's great dining and, of course, great shopping. Um, and what's great about them is that they've added so many new retailers that are really first, not only first to market, but first in Pennsylvania, uh, Diane First. Don Furstenberg, uh, Carolina Herrera, Tori Birch has her store there, St. Laurent. So these brands that were not in the area previously are now here in Philadelphia and have a presence. And, I mean, so easy to get to, whether you're coming from the city, the suburbs, King of Prussia is certainly a destination. Absolutely. More so than ever. All right, we got to talk about dining. Dining. Uh, my favorite category, everybody's favorite category, uh, definitely the, the toughest to pick favorites. But um, for this year, I went with Giuseppe and Sons, um, located on 15th Street. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they just such have a wonderful story about how the restaurant happened. Schultz and Collective, known for their really, you know, fun and interesting contemporary restaurants, partners with Termini Brothers, longtime bakery here in South Philly, and comes up with this amazing concept of old school Italian cooking and a really kind of sexy atmosphere that feels, you know, very center city. And I mean, this is a pretty uh, prestigious category to win, considering all the options in Philadelphia, that Philadelphia has become a foodie town. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's talk about uh, beauty, the beauty category. Beauty. Um, tons of great spas and um, salons. Um, the category has expanded over the last couple of years. What's happening in the beauty space in general with self-care and wellness and mm -hmm. fitness. Um, I chose Body and Beauty Lab, um, long time winner on the list, originally 3000 BC in Chestnut Hill, uh, now rebranded in Center City and ha are doing something really cool. They partner with Jefferson Health mm -hmm. Hospital um, to really work together in providing great uh, care if you're having cosmetic surgery and you need after care. Uh, Body and Beauty Lab will, you know, offer uh, the patients coming in for post care with lasers, injectables, um, cutting edge treatments to really sort of supplement the aftercare piece if you're having a major procedure. How innovative. I wonder if we start to see that with other spas in the area partnering with health institutes because yeah. that is a component of it. It's a first in the region, very innovative, and I think where the industry is headed. Kristen, I think a lot of people listening to this uh, interview may be wondering how they can get your job <laughs> you get, because you get to <laughs> pick all we get to sample all of these great uh, restaurants shopping destinations places that make Philadelphia what Philadelphia is and of course the beyond across the Delaware Valley absolutely and of course it always comes down to the people you know the the people and personalities that are driving these businesses and coming up with these ideas and partnerships really make it so exciting and we have to wrap real quickly talking about the Philadelphia style 20th anniversary party which is tonight yes happening tonight um, we're very excited time with our 20th anniversary as you said um, our biggest party of the year um, and we're just very excited to invite all of our friends and partners and clients all right Kristen Detterline editor-in-chief of Philadelphia style magazine thank you so much for being with us really appreciate it thank you and again the best to Philly Style 20th Anniversary Party happens tonight from 7 until 10.30 at the Kimmel Center. Chris and I will see you there. Oh, good. <laughs> Better be there. I will. Some summer camps are spent at the pool, others in the woods. But what about kids who are interested in science and engineering? Tomorrow we'll